Record. Warning. Pause. What you are about to see is virtual reality, but not everything is virtual. The love we have for one another is 100% real. guys, I got a message from a, a fellow mom, a fellow reborn autism mom, and she says to me, she says, Rocky, you're not a monster. You didn't know that your kids felt the way they do. And I said, well, I didn't ask either. Like I should have, I should have said, do you want to go home or do you want to keep going? I know this crap by now. And, you know, being an autism mom, I know this kind of thing. I should have already said you know, do you want to stay here or do you want to go home? Or, you know, put a visual schedule up saying, you want to do this or do you want to do this? And I didn't do that. I just was so happy about traveling and being out of the house and exploring. I just, and I feel, again, I feel like a crappy mom. I shouldn't have done that. I should have noticed our kids were, you know, Elon loves to travel, she does. But she says, but mommy, Benny doesn't like to travel. Benny wants to go home. Benny does like to travel, but he don't like traveling a long time like we've been doing. And before he met us, he was traveling with another foster family. And they were constantly on the road for a long time. He was with them for three years. And I guess he thought that being here, that's different, but I guess it wasn't so different at first, but you know, our plan is to get the kids home and get him into a stable program that he needs to be in. Get the Abby back into her day program that she goes to, or her school that she goes to, you know, her day school, and get her back into her routine that she's in. It's all about routines, guys. Routines are good for our kids. And I should have known that. I feel like a total... Duh! You would think... By now, after all this time being around here, I would know that A, our kids need routine. B, they need routine all the time. C, it's not all about you. It's about your kids. <laughs> you know, it's just stupid. Whatever. I'm just uh, frustrated. I have to go back in a second. We also got another sweet boy last night. Um, and his name is Darius. And, well, actually, we got two, Darius and Dylan. Darius is um, 11 years old. Dylan is 12. And they both have autism. Darius um, doesn't have as many allergies, but Dylan has an allergy to gluten. And he drinks only goat's milk. So, look, we have goats. We have plenty of goat's milk. So, it's a lot to learn. Right? As an autism mom, it's a lot to learn. But we have our last leg of the journey today. We have 16 more hours to drive. I'm pretty sure we can do it. If we have to push it, we can push it. I don't like to push it because I want to relax while we drive, but um, we can do nine today, nine tomorrow. You know, get up about four in the morning, take off, maybe get there time for church or maybe, I don't know. Um, Joshua didn't want to leave us, but at the same time, he has a speaking engagement, so he had to go. So... They're already gone. They should be back from the time of the day. They drove all night last night. Which meant him and Lane and Dane and Lonnie. They drove all night. So they should be back any time about down there by now. We should be back. We might be back today. according to how many hours we can get in as far as drives go. We may have to drive all day and all night, which we can do. It can be done. We don't like to do it like that, but we can do it if we have to. 
Die. So guys, I'm getting breakfast for everybody. Try to get ready to go. It's super, super early, y'all. What to do? So I pour myself some caffeine before I do it all. So now our son Darius, um, Darius has, he's a very picky eater. He loves spinach, black beans, and rice. That's his big go-to fave. He also loves mac and cheese and chicken <clears throat> with his black beans and rice. So, in the morning, he likes bacon and a spinach omelet. That's what I'm making here right now. With some feta cheese and a little bit of eggs in there. Dylan's is much different because Dylan is gluten-free, dairy-free, casein-free. So he gets a gluten-free waffle with stentilla on it. And he gets some bacon. And he gets a apple. And for his drink, he gets his goat milk. Goat's milk is not bad. I've actually had it. It's really good. Our goats give us some pretty good milk, so. We uh got some brought to us, thank God. We had some. So we have that for him. So Darius is very funny about what he, the way he eats too. It has to be a sectional plate, like this. It has to be sectional with a plate guard. So he has to have that, and also he has to be in a special type of seat. Um, we have a tomato seat for him because he will get up out of his chair and walk around and walk around and walk around and not get back in his seat. So because of that, he has to have a tomato seat. So we have that for him. Same with Dylan. Dylan gets up and moves around a lot. So yeah, autism mom struggles. I'm on the struggle bus this morning. I'm seriously on the struggle bus. Um, it is barely 6 a.m. I haven't gotten everything done. I've got to get on the road because we got to go. We decided um, we're just going to drive. And we decided we're going to try the whole, eight, the whole 16 hours. Um, we're going to take shifts and, you know, we're going to drive. We're all going to drive together. And we're all going to like it and lump it. And so I've made some food for the journey. I've also got some lunches back for them. Mm, excuse me. It's a lot of work. Ow! Wow. Sorry, I hurt myself. So as you can hear, Darius is very hungry and getting fussy, so. Bennett also woke up very fussy this morning. Eh, per his usual anymore. He's also very picky about what he'll eat. For Benny, we have oatmeal, which he totally goes crazy over. And I put a little bit of Nutella and peanut butter in it. I didn't put much Nutella because he doesn't like it all that much. Like, he likes it, but not that much of it. So I also put peanut butter and just a teeny touch of Nutella. And I put that in there, and then he's got some eggs and a couple strips of bacon. So that's what he gets, and he gets his milk. Hey, Benny, you ready for your breakfast? Yeah. So Darius also gets, um, he loves fruit, so he gets a couple of different fruits. He gets an apple, and he also gets um, a um, grapefruit. So I have to slice his grapefruit up for him, because he gets that in the morning, too. So it's a lot. Our family goes through a lot of picky eaters and, you know, gluten freeze and all that. So it's a lot. Hey, Darius. You ready to eat, Bubba? You hungry, huh? Dylan's in his chair, ready to go. He's uh, getting a little frustrated right now because I've got his food ready. Here you go, Bubba. Here you go, Dylan. So I'm cutting up there. Both of them like grapefruit, so I'm cutting the grapefruit up right now. And I'll split it between them and also little Mr. Bennett over here. But it also needs a go-to seat or... uh 
feeder seat. And Darius and Bennett and Dylan are also going to have feeding therapy with Thomas and Aiden. And uh, back So, I have quite a few to take the feeding therapy that starts up next week, Monday. So, that's why I'm trying to get us home so that we have that time to get everything done. Okay, sweetheart. Oh, I got their meds out. James is happy back there. He's stimming. He's ready to go. James is also very picky, and I also have to be careful what he eats because of his gut. So he gets also a spinach omelet with a little bit of goat cheese in it with eggs and goat cheese. And he gets a little bit of this bacon right here. And he gets grapefruit, apples, and grapes. And that's what he gets. If any of that, it's oatmeal. Well, no, it's going to be oatmeal today. He wanted oatmeal with a spinach omelet and bacon. That's what we can get today. I'll put a few grapes on the side to see if he'll eat them. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. No, actually, no. I'll do an apple because he likes crunchy stuff. James is a very oral person. He loves crunchy food. There are days that he won't eat anything but pureed food. And there are days that he'll eat everything. This week he's eating a lot. Okay, buddy. James, you ready to eat? Yes? Okay. All right. Sit down right here. Good boy. James also has a go-to seat. Or a, a feeder seat because he gets up and he knocks things over a lot of times. So you have to kind of put him in his feeder seat. He's also starting to get feeding therapy as well because he really needs it. Okay. These are all the medications our kids take. Um, a lot of kids are on supplements because they need them. This is sort of a morning routine, I guess. Call it a day in the life to a mom with autistic kids. <laughs> with needs kids. Okay, Dylan, you ready for your food? There we go. Get your meds in, you okay? Dylan does not swallow pills orally, so what I have to do is make a smoothie with it. And I'll put them all in a smoothie. And then he'll take it just like that. Because he takes um, ADHD meds, he takes seizure meds, he takes... Um, I also give him um, a supplements. He gets oral. Um, he gets these probiotics and a multivitamin a vitamin which that goes into his food that just sprinkles into his food like that oh, he doesn't even notice there I just stirred up real good that way it's done and he is good to go and for the rest of us I'm making I made some french toast and bacon and eggs so so our morning starting out so far Hey guys, so we're on the way, right here. We're on the way. <clears throat> it's been a kind of a morning for Rocky because she's had to deal with a lot of meltdowns and just not very happy kids and all that. So I thought I'd take the first shift and I don't mind. <clears throat> Lonzie's up here piloting, co piloting me. So Kevin was going to, but he's still sleeping, so I didn't wake him up. So, uh, here we go. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> Got a lot of hours to drive. 16 hours. I don't know how we're going to actually do that in one day. We usually camp out, but... Because we got to get home, because we have church in the morning, we have kids have therapies and schools and camps and such. We just uh, don't have much time to kind of hang around at home or hang around down the road. So I uh, went there to take the first shift so that Rocky could tend to the kids and uh, all that. Dee Dee's coming on after me. And uh, then Rocky's going to drive. Uh, Ron's going to drive and Rocky's going to drive. We'll keep going until we get 
what we got. If we get too tired, then we'll pull over and camp, but I don't think that that's going to happen. I think we're going to try, try to drive straight through. We have enough drivers we could. Justin could drive. Matt could drive. Um, Kevin could drive. John and Bex could drive. So, we have plenty of drivers. We don't have, you know, to worry about that. So, we're on the way. We are underway. It's about 6.45. Rock's back there feeding the kids, and I hitched up voluntarily, and uh, we're on the way. Lonzi was kind enough to help me hitch up. And we are on the way to... Da -da -da -da, home. So I figure, if we all drive, we all take so many hours to drive. I take a couple hours, Monty gets a couple hours, Rocky gets a couple hours, Feet, Didi gets a couple hours, whatever it, it takes to get us home. I mean, usually we don't do that, we'll usually camp out, but because we have kids that need a lot of routines and schedules and lunches and therapies in school as well, including my sons, we need to get home. So we're officially on the road, guys. Um, Rocky's back there feeding kids and getting them their routine the best she can. <sighs> it's stressful. We have to think of a 16 to 17 hour drive ahead of you because I mean, usually I've been able, I've been known to take drive for a long time, but when you're doing this for all day, plus you have kids that are crying or screaming or not happy, you know, including my kids, and you know, it's just not easy. Um, Monty Rocky's kids, you know, this is hard. Um, so, you know, it's difficult for us. We do the best we can do, but life is hard. Face facts that life is not easy. But we do the best we can with what we got, and we give all we got. And, uh, Abby's right here behind me. Hi, Abs. Are you happy? Abby riding in the car. Oh, she's got her shoes off again. Get your shoes off, Abs. Yeah, I noticed that she's in a 3 out of 5 pulling harness. The reason though that is, is because she'll get up and run around. So, because we're driving, I don't want her to do that, so I've got her in her 5 pulling harness. And she's happy where she's sitting, she's got her iPad, she's got her blankie, she's got her snacks. Which she's totally obsessed with, she's got her fidgets. Um, so she's happy. She couldn't be happier. She's got her magazine she can play with and uh, a bucket to put all the treads in if she shreds it, which she's known to do. <laughs> but uh, she couldn't be happier. Look at that face. You happy, huh? Yeah. And she likes my driving because I drive sort of faster than some people drive. But uh, yeah. Rocky, you know, she takes her time, but me, I, I mean, I take my time, but I drive a lot faster than she does. Uh, I drop the speed limit, or maybe a little over than that. So, yeah. Well, guys, guess what? It's raining. Rocky said she had a bad feeling it might rain. And it is. Ah, crap. Come on, move over, wheel. Anyway, it's raining, which is not my desired time to travel, but we have kids that need help, so we have to do it. Okay, we had to stop for a second because Rocky needed to know where the diapers were. And I couldn't exactly tell her because I didn't know. Uh, Dee Dee put them in a place she shouldn't have put them. So there's one stop we had to make. Not what I wanted to do. Especially when it's raining. I pull over the side of the road in this big rig. But it's life. Do what you gotta do. Kyle's over here at my right looking over at me. Hey, Bubba, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Hey. He can't drive. What? Oh, you pretend to drive, huh? Pretending to drive, Bubba? Yeah. 
Oh, you a good driver, Kyle? Huh? <laughs> we do have a surprise for the kids at the house that they're gonna see, but uh, he's got his headphones on so I can tell you, and she, all the kids are out there. So, so, so. I got a car simulator that a friend of mine gave us, um, and it feels like the kid is actually driving the car. It makes the sounds of a car and blinkers, and you can actually turn the radio on and everything. So that's at the house. Um, I had Dave install that uh, this morning for him, and so when we get home, which will probably not be till like early in the morning, or super super late tonight, it's going to have fast. We have to push it. I really don't like having to push our family to drive that long, because driving that long with our kids is like driving through a hurricane with a tornado with a typhoon. Because they get upset, we start having meltdowns, they get kind of frustrated and cranky because they want to get out of the car or the vehicle, and that's understandable. They're kids, they're gonna want to do that, so. <sighs> I don't know how how in the world uh, we're gonna drive this whole 18 hours. I mean 16 hours, excuse me. I, don't, I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Because that's a lot of hours to be driving in a, in a vehicle with several, especially these kids. They need a lot of attention. They need a lot of room to run. Um, I just don't know. I don't feel comfortable with it, that I can tell you. I don't feel comfortable with it. Because our kids need to be able to relax and play and all that. But, you know, Rocky's got a point when it comes to the kids, you know. I mean, she shouldn't feel bad about this. Like, it's not her fault, okay? Y'all, we all felt this. We all thought they were okay. I even thought that. My kids. You know, my Rocky's kids. But the truth is, um, we weren't okay. They weren't okay. They were not happy. And the kids are not happy. That's not a good thing. I mean, it's life, we have to do what it is. You know, we got kids that have special needs that need a lot of time to play and run. And, you know, James doesn't have a pool to get into when he's hitting himself, it's not a good idea. But, you know, Rocky's got a point when she said they need to get home. We need to get home with the kids and get them back in the routine. But the problem is, I don't think we're gonna make it home by church time. There's no way. I still say we should camp out tonight, and I think maybe we will, because if I say that to Rocky enough, she's going to give it. She usually does. She says, well, Rich, I see your point. <laughs> so we drive eight hours today, and then pick up in the morning at about three o'clock and drive eight hours tomorrow. We should get there in time for church, I think, but I don't know. But then again, we have to drop the RV off, got to drop the food off, and, you know, it's just a lot. I don't know. There's no way we're driving 16 hours in one day. There's no way. We might get a good portion of it driven, but not all of it. Um, so I just talked to Rocky. She said that if we can't deny it, would that be okay? Because that's close to where we have to go anyway. So, yeah. So, we're not staying in Iowa. We're staying in Burlington tonight. And then we'll pick up in the morning at about 3 a.m or two and get back home by time for church hopefully or maybe after church i don't know either way i can't believe that joshua and them drove all night last night you know they're tired you know they're beat they're done whatever how he's gonna get up in time to go to church in the morning i don't know because we're not there to help make sure he's up um you know we're not there so we can't you know <laughs> Unless I get up super early at about two and take off, we may get there in time. So we're gonna camp out in Burlington. That's what we're gonna do. We'll probably camp, uh, go to our friend's house. That or Connecticut. <laughs> so I figure we we camp in we camp at our friend's house in Newtown. So she just said Newtown was fine. So we're gonna camp in Newtown. 
Connecticut tonight at our friend's house. Um, and we're going to get up in the morning and probably go the last four hours to home. So if I get up about five, we'll be at home by eight o'clock in the morning. Drop off the stuff, put away the whatever we can, get the kids, grab them, get them ready for church, get them hopefully ready without a meltdown, and get out the door to church. Now, I, you know, we could miss church, but Rocky don't like to do that when Josh is preaching, so it's understandable. I get it. So, do my best here. Do my, give us the old college try. So, uh, Benny was having a meltdown back there because he wanted more oatmeal, so she gave him more oatmeal. He's calmed down a little bit. They're little small bowls, so she's not getting too much. She's, she's getting small bowls, and it's just okay. But, uh, all the kids, uh, all of our real severe kids start school Monday uh, because they need it. It's best for them. It's best for us. It's just best for all of us all, right? All the way around. So, um, you know, it's better that way for them. For them to have school. Ow! Sorry. Um, all year round, most of the time, they get a few weeks off in the summer and then they go back. Um... It's just best for them. It's best for us, too. We were hoping to go to Wales, and we are going to go to Wales on fall break, probably. Uh, we were going to go for Rocky's birthday, but I couldn't line it up in time to do it, surprise her with it, but, uh, yeah. Um, but we are going to go to Ocean City July 4th weekend, and then go to Nashville Shores Fry, Fry? Okay, whatever. Uh, fly to Nashville Shores um, for Rocky's birthday weekend, so what we're going to do. And uh, we're going to get all the puppies to meet us up there and celebrate Rocky's uh, birthday. So, that's what we're going to do. Making pretty good time. We're out in South Dakota, so that's good. It's about uh, 10.55, yeah. So, we're doing pretty good. We're, we're making good time. We're doing well. So, Rocky says she'd be satisfied if we camped in Newtown at our friend's house. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, Lonzie's like, Rock, it's 16 hours, dude. That's a long way to drive. <laughs> and it is. But I see Rock's point as well. And I also see his point. So, just doing my best getting the driving done. Doing my best to kind of keep the road going and <sighs> keep the wheels turning. So once we get to connect, we might go to Big Y and get a few things. Uh, Rocky's concerned because we're almost out of apple juice again. Our kids seriously drink too much apple juice. I'm serious. It is two o'clock. We're still driving on. We're still going. Uh, I'm about to take off my shift and. Didi's gonna drive for a while. No, actually, I'm sorry. Rocky's gonna drive for a while. And, uh, Kevin's gonna pilot her. You too. You too. So, um, tomorrow evening, our friends are hosting us for supper tomorrow evening, so I'm really proud of that. So, uh, Rocky's gonna take over the vlog in a minute. I'm gonna go back and lay down for a while. I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning with Benny, helping try to calm him down. So, Rocky's gonna take over for a while. Um, she had a nap. I didn't, so gonna hand you over to Rocky and Kevin's gonna pilot her so here we go hey guys so we're just in back taking a nap he's so tired he needs a well-deserved nap too and Lonzy both need a nap Lonzy drove for a while Rich drove for a while um Dee Dee's in a lot of pain right now with her back so I'm not sure if she's gonna be able to drive or not we'll see hey! so we are almost there to Newtown We've been driving all day. It's about mm, 4.30 in the afternoon. Rich here again driving us down to the area because I know where it's at. So I'm just getting us drove in down here. James keeps signing he wants to swim, so we're going to let them do that. Of course, Maddie says, can I get my rides out? Yeah, so... We're gonna do that in a minute. 
<sighs> anyway, guys, it's just been kind of a day. I'm trying to get home and all that. I rested for good until a few hours, so I'm back up here again because I chose to do it. Rocky Joe for a long time. So, just gonna pull us in and we're gonna get our camping gear out and we're gonna camp for a while and then get back up on the road and go home. So, yeah. So, we're having supper at a restaurant. We're having a hibachi tonight. Uh, so, Rocky did an Instacart order and it should be back at the camper in a few minutes. And Josh said that they made it fine. And then Jerry and Lisa made it fine. So Jerry and Lisa will get them up. I know she will. And Doug and Sarah went home too. So they made it just fine. So. Mm. So. We're just having a good dinner and uh, enjoying ourselves. It's worth it after all day travel. And so we're tired. And all that, so. Just ready to relax for a while, kind of just kick back for a bit. We do have a house down here in Newtown that we bought about a year, two years ago. <sighs> we decided to camp at it. Because our friends were super busy and she forgot she had to go out of town again, so. So okay, but our house down here. Anyway, we're having a good good food and uh, we're gonna eat and then we might get a big live. We'll see. Well, I forgot. Rocky got a <laughs> Rocky got a uh, Instacart. That's right. I hope she got everything she needed. Yep. Anyway, we'll see you back at the camp. So we're back, watering our plants a little bit here. <clears throat> Is there something Travis's place when he stays here? But these plants need watering, so we're just watering them. <clears throat> because they're happy to be back in uh, almost home territory. <clears throat> um, Hated leaving, you know, we hated having to leave what we were doing, but we still want to travel. <clears throat> but <clears throat> let's also think of our kids that really need stability too. And that's hard. It's life though. So you can guess where our kids are in the water. Hey guys, you having fun? <clears throat> they remember this old pool. They okay, love it. Son. Double tap to open. <clears throat> um, so they remember our old pool we had here. Benny doesn't know, and of course the others like JJ doesn't know, but <clears throat> some of our kids remember. Nice job, Ren. So, we have a lot going on. It's a lot of craziness around here. <clears throat> but, it's okay. It's life. You know what, guys? Life just is life. <clears throat> um, life is life. And the best thing we can do is try to be happy with what we got. What's hard about it is, you know, the reality is we traveled for several days, several weeks, or no, at least a couple weeks we were gone. We're hoping to be on all summer, but <clears throat> now we're not. YouTube, we're now, home. Now, I'm like, YouTube, now. So, it's hard when you think you're going to be gone all summer and then all of a sudden you're headed home now. 
kind of sucks, but what can you do? <clears throat> <laughs> so we set up doctor appointments for this week for the kids and we'll get that done <clears throat> Elon not so deep honey be careful baby She gets carried away. Darius is over there playing in the pool with James. Good James is in the other pool over there. <clears throat> oh, we gotta get this. <clears throat> Anyways. Trying to take care of my kiddos. Do my best to do right. <clears throat> you having fun, Jamie? <clears throat> Darius will be, of course, going to the same school that they go to. Points to year-round schooling because it's best for him. I hope there's water in this fridge because I it would say there's needed some water. Yes there is good. Woohoo! There's water in there. <clears throat> so we made it. Had a good dinner. The kids are happy to be playing. Which is good. You want your kids to be happy. They're happy, so that's good. And now it's time for me to have water. Ah, needed that. <coughs> <clears throat> Good job, buddy. Nice job. <clears throat> Kids are everywhere out here. And I checked on Leah. She's doing good. <clears throat> they were able to get her up and out of bed today. She has been doing her therapies. She has been swimming. <clears throat> and they've been trying to keep her awake and like give her three naps. So hopefully that will help her to feel better. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, just kind of like, I feel like I failed her basically. <clears throat> Knowing that I should have realized her symptoms that was also defiance. And I gave it up as, oh, she's tired. She doesn't feel well. Which is true. She doesn't <clears throat> a lot of times, but it's also because she's being defiant. She's never been made to get up, make a bed, you know, do her chores, you know, take her clothes and the dirty clothes. We've always told, you know, encouraged her to do it, but. <clears throat> She always told us she did it, and then someone else did. <clears throat> so I don't know. <clears throat> I guess he looks so sorry for her. I don't know. But it's best that she's in a place she's in because they 
keep an eye on what she's doing. If she tries to get a roommate to do for her, then <clears throat> she gets in trouble for that, so. <clears throat> anyway, that's life. It's life, guys. It's life. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's been messed up today. Anyway, guys. Sorry, today's vlog has not been very long. I do apologize for that, but, um, been traveling a lot and doing a lot of things, trying to get ready to get home. Oh! Benny! No, no, we don't push Sissy, okay? <clears throat> Renee's came because Benny pushed her. And she felt because she wasn't expecting it. Benny, we don't push, okay? <clears throat> Brandon's over there, James in the pool, James and Darius. They don't like the crowded big parts of the big, huge pool. They have like the other one. <clears throat> it's quieter. So anyway. Last night on vacation, guys. Then we head home tomorrow. <clears throat> Last night of being on vacation, Matt's over at his rides, having his rides right now. <clears throat> so anyway go put the kids to bed soon get ready for bed ourselves and take off early in the morning for a ride to get home anyway <clears throat> yeah that's what's going on finally got the kids to bed it took some doing but I finally got them to bed um James started having a sip fit when I got him out of the pool um, he's doing this new thing now where he whacks himself with a belt. I don't know why he does it, but he, he'll take his belt up and just start slapping himself with it. A new sort of sib thing that he does, and one thing that our goal for his IPP is to reduce his sib. And the thing is, getting him out, getting him to do things should help reduce the sib, so we'll see. All right, good night from Connecticut. We are halfway, over halfway home. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.